Crack lagging, buddy. What's up, man? You feeling better? Yeah. I'm doing a little better today, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good deal. Good deal. Um, yeah, I've had my ass whipped all day at work, so. <laughs> Good times. I hope we made, like, at least enough money to throw something in your 401k. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you very much, Paige. No, man, I ain't really paid much attention to the YouTube streets at all. I got the, uh, a few videos there of of, um, of our Canadian counterpart doxing people. Mm-hmm. You know, although he claims he doesn't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Like, big old hypocrite. Yeah. Just stay in your lane, bro. Never okay to dox. Not even when they threaten you, right? He's like... Like, when you make her picture your avatar then you try to play the game oh is this correct is it right is it wrong is it right is it wrong like come on bro mm-hmm. you know absolutely even vehicle information <laughs> but you know everybody y'all need to listen to what easy says for real thing is is I mean, for a lot of people that's out there, we've had their information for a while. But what are you supposed to do with it? We ain't going to sit here and dodge or threaten or anything like that. We know who the fuck they are. We do. I can promise you. But, yeah, man. He wants to show up. I did this. I did that. Blah, blah, blah. He wants to put out another fucking video about the same fucking clip, pretty much. Week. I mean, it's this is MO, though, right? Same mm-hmm. same content over and over and over and over and over. Yep. It's what we've come accustomed to from over there. Won't you make another one tomorrow and put a new spin on it, sleeve boy? I mean, it's, and that's all you got. That's all you got. We might play some of these. I'm not going to show the pictures because, you know, I'm not going to dog say la vie. No. Because she struck him over it. I don't want her striking me over it. No, I get it, man. But um, it's like, that's not the only one. That's the messed up part, Jimbo. Multiple lives. Mm -hmm. That's just one of a few. It's like a series. But he don't dox. Actually, I may just take some of these videos and <clears throat> just make my own little compilation and, you know, mm-hmm. without doxing the names. And This is just one. This is a 12-hour live. The one that these are from. Yeah. Like I said, there's more of them. Because I, I was watching one the other day myself, and um, the one that I sent the link to you today, not... I've not seen that one, not until I started seeing those clips. No, really? Yeah. So, like I said, there's multiple lives with this shit on it. <clears throat> so, yeah. what I'm saying is, is we can get a lot more clips to make that compilation. Yeah, yeah, we will. And, um, you know, it's that old thing about people who live in glass houses, you know. And let's, let's, let's just get it straight here. Like, the, the doxing, me threatening to dox a, a scumbag piece of garbage yep. was just was just his excuse like he'd been playing in a fight for a long time and um it just it didn't go his way you, i don't know i wasn't in the mood yesterday after all the events of the you know what happened in this community yesterday and when i mean community i mean my local community here in the house you know, around the house and um, you know just another you know, live to fight another day, I guess, kind of thing. And Got your electric blanket on. That sounds good. Yeah, it does. Sounds cozy. We won't have a super long live tonight. I, just, I do want to hang out with you all a little bit and you know catch up. and Because um, I haven't been in Discord much today. I don't know that I've even posted anything in there. Maybe, maybe a thing or two, but um, just kind of check on people and 
answer a few questions if anybody's got me any DMs and let people know that I am okay. Um, you know, I got, I feel like I'm a tough person, you know, um, just there's certain things that really affect me, affect me. And um, the death of a child, that really affects me. It really affects me. And um, so I had a hard day yesterday. I'm probably going to have a hard day, you know, for a few days, but. Yeah, it's hard to deal with something like that. It really is. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter um, really with that kind of thing, the age, because that's a tragic thing. But and not that it doesn't matter, but it's just more, I guess, tragic because of the age. But when, it, when it's a young and like that, it's like that even fight through it and give it a chance. It's like they ended so early. And that's the sad part about it, you know. That's got. I got my bouncers in there watching me. They're watching me on the TV, make sure I'm okay. I, I don't know. I just. Um, I don't know, man. I guess I'm a softie in, in things like that. I let I let things affect me, and I don't understand. You know. This, you know this this whole damn side of YouTube is full of just disgusting behavior, isn't it? Isn't it? And um. Yeah, you know, I've took part of it. I've been just as mean as anybody else. Um, I can say that I've been mean, you know. Um, I, I think that's what separates me and, and Kemper from some other people is that, you know, we don't claim perfection. You know, um, it's that mentality of, um, you know, I'm better than you, and here's why. Well, I'm not better than any of you. Um, I believe in I believe in God Almighty. You know, some people don't. I do. Um, I believe He created us all equally. Um, I don't believe He has a favorite. Uh, if he had a favorite, it might have been his own, his own child that he sent down here to um, pay the ultimate price so that we might live. You know, and that's not a, I'm not going to try to break into a, a sermon here, but. Pink, you're right. It does. It builds up. That's why, like, last spring, that's why I dipped out. I had to leave. I was like, fuck this. Because it was just so much going on, you know. So yeah, it, it it'll hit you. It'll make you uh, crippled or weak, I guess. Taking those hits each time you take it, you don't even fully recover from one, and here comes another one, and then another one, and then another one. Yeah. So, well, that's that's yeah. the one thing I think we have in our community here is that we don't have to dip out no more. Um, we can go to our Discord, and um, I was in there yesterday. I didn't even say anything for the most part. I just listened. I listened to other people talk. I read what other people typed, and it comforted it comforted me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I owe that to to our community that we built, and I'm not gonna let that be taken away from us. Not from somebody from Canada or Texas. Or Michigan, no offense, Kemper. Or California, I get. Doesn't matter. Like, I don't. Right. This is a. This is a family. There ain't no perfect family. Nowhere. Um, the ones who can. I, I do want to ask y'all something. Um, and I'm I'm being serious here. Um, there are people who who are easily swayed, don't try to sway them. If they don't want to be here, we don't want them here. I know that hurts. I know that you're going to miss your friends and you are welcome to hang out with them whenever you want to. Like, you all know that I don't 
get bent out of shape over people hanging out in other chats. I get it, me. That's that's been said, but you can't. Nobody can't show that because that's a bunch of crap. Yep. That's what they want you to believe. Um, hey, there's Kim Louise. Just um, if people don't want to be around you, why beg them? Right. Because eventually they'll find a reason. I like having people around me that are um, solid in what they believe and solid with a massive fucking spine. I don't like people that sway when the wind blows. I'm not about it. There's a lot of people that want to do that all the time. Yeah. Want to turn a blind eye to shit too. So, you know, we see you. And, and I'm not trying to pick on Mama T, but here's a perfect example. Mama T, whatever way the wind blows, as long as Ernie is the one blowing it, She's going to believe it. She's going to go right with it. If somebody called Mama T and told her Jimbo was arrested today, 30 seconds later, she'd be on a live stream saying Jimbo was arrested today. Yep, sure would. Like a dumbass. Matter of fact, I got arrested today. Kimber, did you hear about that? Yeah, I heard about that. Look like one of the Dukes of Hazard cars, sheriff cars. Hey, buddy. When Duke's Hazard, it was. A, I'm just saying that's the era of police cars. 75, man. 75 model. 70, 80. Yeah, because they were probably using them like that when we were kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> no, it was a. It was then a parade that Molly was in. They had a legit, like a 1975 state police cruiser. Mm -hmm. I was like, let me jump in there and take me a picture. Uh -huh. like, you know what? There ain't too many people asking to hop in the back of a cruiser. I wish I heard top in the back of one. I know, right? It'll happen sooner or later. It is. It is. His day's coming. His day's coming. He knows it. Um, he must have somebody helping him out financially because he ain't online begging. At least I haven't seen much. Right. So, yep. He's surviving somehow. Well, he's probably got to be about it. The cotton mouth. Yeah, that's true. He's probably in the hospital with renal failure from the cotton mouth. <laughs> had to like resync his microchip in his head to yeah. work with his lichen blood. I swear he's a badass bounty hunter. You know that. They got to do what they got to do, bro. Well, whatever it is to stay ahead, you know. I mean, and when you're only five foot six, you got to do whatever you can do to stay ahead. <laughs> You know, it's funny. All these fuckers are shorter than me, and I'm a short fuck. Always have been. Thank you, Night Stalker. At least somebody appreciates me around here. <laughs> All I know is that, you know, you I heard that I could get me a, a mansion for 150 Canadian. <laughs> So, um, must be Hunter getting home. He's been, so we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna work on something, um, of something positive that we can do here at least once a week, um, besides our game, um, something that kind of involves as many people as we can. And we'll give away some prizes, of course, you know, um, just, just to keep people, you know, rewarded for, um, for their loyalty and, and, um, Give them something to do other than just trash talk all the time. Like, um, it's, right. It's exhausting for me. Uh, you know, I can do it with the best of them. You know, I can. You know, you can. Um, just get old. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> at what point do you either take it up a notch or you just say, like, okay, now what? Yeah. Just don't engage. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of shit that we don't engage or even acknowledge that's done. I can promise you guys that. <laughs> Kim says we need a color in a chat. We need we 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 did say we do that one night. We 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 will do that one night. We'll have a color in color in chat. Yeah, I am gonna have some downtime coming up soon. I got you know surgery coming up on the night on the well, pre ops nineteenth and surgery's on twenty fourth. So I don't know how long I'll be out. Molly has a concert on the 24th, and I'm going to try to make it. Then I was like, I'll record it. I'm like, I'm going to make it. 
There's also the uh, graveyard in Knoxville that's got John Sevier and his life and a bunch of other early Tennesseans. John huh? Who's John Sevier? Don't make me smack you. Sevier will. John Sevier. Like, you might have to get your ass whooped, but you won't tell me who John Sevier is not going to work for you. First governor of Tennessee. Well, I ain't no Tennessean. Can you tell me who the first governor of Kentucky was? You've been around Knoxville quite a long time. I figured you would know that. My Lord, no. I mean, that's like yeah. a place, so. But it was still cool learning about it. Mr. Move on to the second part of it. We're in the poll at John Deere Girl and E Squared. So you're going to vote to keep one of those now. Vote to keep one. John Deere Girl, if you are hearing this, well, I hope you're doing okay. All right. I'm just gonna leave this one up for 15 minutes and then we might we might start winding down. I just like I said, I didn't want to just cancel two nights in a row and I wasn't sure how I was gonna to feel tonight about being able to chat, but I'm glad I did because um, you guys always uplift me a little bit. Uh, it's good hanging out with my friends and family here. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Yeah. Um, I don't want nobody to get any misconceptions. Like, <clears throat> I do not personally know the, the little girl who is no longer in this world, but as a father, and um, you know, of children that age, it just it really affected me. It really affected me. So, um, and then I had to, you know, talk to my team about it, and for some of them to look at me like, eh, no, no, we don't never think about that kind of thing, you know, like that's crazy. But then for some of them to say, Coach, I have thought about that. Like that's that that hit home and uh, kids have a heart these days too man they really do things used to be a lot more simple back in the day it ain't like that anymore no. and you, you never know what makes somebody think the way they think but you know, from from all accounts this this little girl was a popular girl she was a an athlete um in some kind of honor thing and like relatively relatively popular um so you know you know you hear things and about home and things like that but you don't know mm -hmm. but whatever it was it was something that that can't be undone now and that's just i don't know man that the siblings of that little girl, the parents, the grandparents, the friends. They'll never forget it. So those are the ones who need our prayer and positive vibes, whatever you send. That's what they need. Remember when uh, my first encounter with the, you know, Canadian counterpart up there. That was one thing he brought up their game. You know his wife's gonna win the game. You know his wife is rigged. Yeah, it was. Totally rigged. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, some people are so childish. Yeah. I knew it was gonna happen again simply because of the way it happened the first time. And the shit that I heard him saying. He has yeah. too many people over there with him that does not like us. Yeah. Oh no, Donna. You could tell. Donna. Has our live been put back, reinstated, whatever? No, um, not yet, but I expect it to. I'm, I'm assuming it's weekend, you know, and all that stuff. But um, yeah, true. it's like, you know, I, I appealed immediately. The the first um, privacy complaint, I'm like, you know, I showed a very detailed message like, there's absolutely nothing on this live stream that hasn't been 
shown already on YouTube by the creator who's claiming a privacy complaint. So it's just null and void. And of course, you know, within an hour, my video was reinstated. And I guess as soon as old Cray Cray woke up, realized my video was back up, she filed another one. Well, then here we are on the weekend, so I expect it to be back Monday, at the at the latest Monday. Okay. I invite the lawsuit. Let's go to court. Let's go to court. Maybe the court would like to see those 300 photos. I did tell the Commonwealth attorney that she claims she's got 300 photos. Ooh, you want to talk about interested? I don't know if it has or not. I told you the um, court date's been moved, right? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Doesn't he have pretrial for something else? Yeah, apparently he picked up a uh, charge while in prison in 2021. So this sucker ain't never going to be outside that walls of prison. Nope. It might, it might be one of those great charges. You never know. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't have the new. It's not updated. No. Like you said, it is the weekend. Yeah. Sorry for the monotone um, you know, I don't want to sound somber, but, um, you know, it's just, it is what it is. And um, tomorrow we'll have a, well, not tomorrow, but Monday we'll have some videos to play and some, you know, we'll get back to maybe, maybe if we have a hundred in chat, we'll throw a big party and <laughs> you never know with us. Oh, we'll get some, I know I want to get a compilation, a uh, compilation, uh, a comp Compilation. Compilation of the, you know, Mr. Doxer who doesn't dox. Um, and just show the fact that he does dox. And that, you know, it's apparently okay when he does it because he's got good reason. Even though there's never a good reason to dox. Um, because you could be doxing the neighbor, the friends, the family, the blah, and the blah, and the blah, 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 blah. blah. Nana Kim freaking loves trivia. Um, we will have to have a set reminder to have it on live chat. That way you guys, I think a lot of people um, used to get busted on not having it on live chat. And then they were like, my answer, it's probably pretty much over though. Let me go look at it. Yeah, 62 votes in. It's 84-16. He's going to be put back in. Let's go ahead and end that poll. Yep. Um, John Deere girl, you fought a valiant fight. Hung around for a while. Huh? You hung around for a while. Yeah, yeah. Everybody who's around now has been around for a bit. So. Yep. Holy hell. It is hotter than tits on a borog. Damn. Rap, your testicles are looking for you. I do not have a big ego at all. Anybody that knows me personally will tell you that. I could log off this YouTube shit forever, and it ain't ever going to phase me one bit. It really ain't. <laughs> oh, it's like predicting the future. Kipper, I'm going here and pick out a movie and snuggle up with my wife. All right. We'll come back Monday and hit it hard, man. Sure, really good to see y'all in chat tonight. I appreciate you coming out and supporting and uh, and just being there when we need you. It, it means a lot. It really does. Um, if something don't come up tomorrow, we'll see you Monday. <laughs>